Greetings Geeshlings, Geeshin Prime here with my live reaction of Dragon Ball Super Chapter 45, Moro's Magic. Okay, uh, just enlarge the image there. There we go. He are horrible planet ending goat man. It's like, it, I, I do hope this doesn't go like, it, it's kind of going in the way of King Piccolo arc meets the Frieza arc and maybe it could be an interesting blend if that's actually how it goes to where it's a bit more different than those have been in the past so but I do fear we're going to get a lot of repeat but yeah he's killing Namekian children I don't like that <laughs> anyway uh, what's that you've been holding back and uh, whoop, I forget that the thing is on visit doesn't let me click it. <laughs> we heard about how he or you can absorb life energy, just like how you tried that with Namekian children a minute ago. Oh, you're not entirely ignorant then. This will be the same technique, but a different application. Wait. How do you apply life energy, absorbing life energy in a different way? Hmm. Is Moro going to use that same terrifying move? Ugh, this little prep. Um, uh, he did when he broke out of prison. Wait, what terrifying move? Maybe I should put some distance between me and this fight. Okay, so his cohort pilot is getting out of dodge I guess and here comes the galaxy patrol or galactic patrol is it galactic or galaxy I know it's galactic to me Ugh, I swear I don't ever remember anyway it's the patrollers um, let's see so this energy absorbing absorber move is the one to watch out for okay so they're talking about the move again <laughs> Yes, and it involves more than just absorbing a planet's life energy. The existing records indicate that he can wield the massive energy he steals from planets from direct attacks. Okay. Or four direct attacks. Okay. I thought he was absorbing, like, the... Because, like, he is kind of... Is basically a life energy, in a way. So, like, I was... I, for some reason I was thinking like he would just absorb their attacks and then like kind of like channel it like through his body and then shoot it back but no I just read it wrong um, okay so he's powering up or absorbing Whoop, did I go too far no I did um, okay he's cracking the ground rocks are floating in the air Ooh, they're like geysers really hmm. what, what is this technique you're about to find out jeets okay so a geyser kind of just opened up underneath him and now he's sent flying what the with this move I attack with the life energy of the very planet we stand on the magnitude comes from not from my own power but from the planet itself and I must say this planet Namek possesses exceptional energy I'm trying to do like little voices. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Um. Anyway, D damn it. Okay, so he he's landed and he's dodging them again or trying to dodge them. Oh boy, they they just keep opening up. I can definitely if this is just like a little bit of the energy coming off of the planet, and it's causing a fair amount of damage to the surrounding area. I. I can definitely see why planets die because of this guy. Um, I mean, is, is there even a planet left? Is it just like, do they become like asteroid fields at this point? Um, or at that point, sorry. D damn it. I, I guess I had just have to escape up into the air. Vegeta, that's not going to work. Vegeta, be careful. Oh God, the water is attacking him now. That is water, isn't it? Or is that fire? Or is that the pure energy? I can't tell. 
<laughs> it's hard until they give me some indication it looks like water mixed with fire to me um, okay so we got um, what is his name it's the Namekian elder Mori I always forget the land itself is quake or itself quakes what sort of battle is being waged it kind of, maybe that's magma and lava because of the way the land's looking it's like shaping and it's kind of layering over itself so maybe it is just lava and magma okay Vegeta's still dodging he's broken out of it because he got buried in it apparently I just realized that <laughs> and he's charging in with a an energy attack in his hand and Moro is powering up. oh he made a wall of energy in front of him okay it's no use you cannot lay a finger on me okay he's spiraling the same energy or whatever that he was attacking with around his arm kind of a cool fashion too and then slings it Vegeta dodges Vegeta, let me take a shot. Shut up, Kakarot, just watch. Yeah, you you would have this level of wanting to just... I want to do this for myself, not for my pride. Well, that would be my pride. It's like, shut up, Vegeta, and just do it. Just let me try. It's like, no! I don't know. Uh, Hey, Moro. You're reaching your limit soon if you keep using that move. Okay, why would he? I mean, he's drawing him. Well, unless it's like a strain to draw that much power out, maybe. Um, but I mean, it is the planet's power, so I don't know. All I need to do is uh, when is to keep dodging. Got it? <laughs> this technique effectively has no limits as I may use it until the planet itself is extinguished <laughs> yeah I kinda of figured that that can't be damn it if I can't approach I have no hope of uh, recapturing you and without any power-ups I'm at a loss without any more power-ups sorry my bad um, admitting defeat how gracious of you tell me one thing at least what are you really after? How? Why come to Namek? You don't know why he came to Namek. <laughs> what uh, use do dead men have for such information? Oh boy. <laughs> Depending on your true goal, maybe you're better off not killing us. <laughs> uh, begging for your life, are you? How far the Galactic Patrol has fallen? Okay, it's the Galactic Patrol. Um, you do seem more knowledgeable about this planet than myself. And if uh, you're agreeing to cooperate, I've come to search for something called the Dragon Balls. Thought so. Okay, Vegeta, why did you even have to ask? What did you expect otherwise? <laughs> I understand that one must gather all seven. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that. Sorry to say, I'm unclear on the details. Hmm. Hmm, excuse me. Hmm, as I thought, you two are inconsequential. Okay, extends his hand and just kind of clutches his hand. And Okay, more of the energy is pouring out. I still want to know if that's actual energy or if that's magma or something. Come on, give me some context here. Um... I mean, based on how it's kind of reacting, because it seems to harden and everything, I'm assuming it's lava. Or magma. The magma's in the earth, lava's in the earth, so I should be saying lava. Um, okay, so it made like a little dome, or half dome. When Vegeta, like, apparently his energy blast just cooled it off? I don't get that. Oh boy, Moro came up behind him, though. <laughs> but... Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay, I thought for some reason he had gotten away from him. Okay, 
Tomorrow's still coming in. Vegeta is able to block it, though it is pushing him back. Just tell me, what would you wish for? All this power you possess, isn't that already enough? Hardly. At the height of my power, you would have been an instant or an insect before me, and this entire planet a quick meal. But such a feat is currently beyond me, as my uh, inter intermediably. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Long confinement um, has left me in this decrepit state. I see. So you could, or you would wish to regain your full strength. Precisely such is my goal. <laughs> really? You're just rotten scum. Like they told us. Scum worth killing for sure. Oh. <laughs> Moro's face on that one. Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so we're focusing on his butt. Why are we focusing on Vegeta's butt? <laughs> His eyes changed, so he's gone to Super Saiyan Blue. Yeah, okay, I, I see the aura now. Um, so he was in God form, because Super Saiyan doesn't give him pupils. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so he's blasting back. Moro had to dodge it. Okay, quite the little crevice there. Um, you're concealing this strength? Or you were concealing this strength? Like you were hiding your true intent? What? Vegeta just powered up even more. Okay, so that's the pilot dude. Why are you still here? <laughs> you made it seem like you were going to get the hell out of there. You, like, didn't even go that far or anywhere at all. Um, I mean, I would be at least on, like, the orbit of the planet, to be honest. Or maybe a nearby moon, if there is one. I don't recall. Um, but yeah, well, why is he still there? Um, okay, Goku's getting in a word. I didn't even get all cocky. Uh, to get him to talk? Smooth move, Vegeta. Okay, Moro's drawing out more power. He's like, summon the Earth power. Okay, a bunch of geysers of, of energy or whatever, of the lava, I guess. Um, I, the, I'm Until they say it, I'm going to keep being confused. Um, I mean, it's burning, unless that's supposed to be like an energy signature. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, also, how does a planet have energy in it, per se? I mean, creatures on... I mean, other than the energy coming from, like, the magma core, I don't know. But, hmm. But, uh, so he's doing that again. Vegeta seems to be dodging all of the, I call them tendrils, because they're not really waves of energy or anything. He's getting closer. Moro keeps attacking. Jeets keeps dodging. Keeps going. Getting closer. And... Did he actually kick him in the face? No? I thought he kicked him there for a second. He's preparing. Okay, so now he's kicked him. Okay. Gurk! And the smirky grin of Jeets. Um, okay. Ooh, that was a powerful kick. <laughs> when did he get so strong? Yikes, if Moro actually loses, I'm headed back to the slammer. Dude, you should have been, like, out of here long ago. But no, I mean, there's cops and reinforcements on the way, so, or presumably reinforcements on the way. So it's like, why are you still here? You are horribly outnumbered. Okay, Vegeta has powered down, but, you know, in blue form, you know, it's not the most enduring transformation. Uh, the, oh god, the trees are dying. He just freaking came out of the ground as if he has done, like, uh, Senor Pink from One Piece. Where he can, like, swim through the ground as if it was water. 
even unless those are veins that even looks like what's like rolling off of him is water I don't much care what sort of villain you are but I won't sit while uh, sit by while this planet suffers emphasize on this planet and it's like I screwed them over once I'm not letting the Namekians die again <laughs> um, or I helped lead to the downfall of the first planet net uh, which means you need to be eliminated be on guard Vegeta something weird is going on well of course it is Goku oh okay so the pilot is zooming about what I ain't going back to or I ain't going back not to prison this is my chance to split dude where has this thought been all this time I swear but Moro's about to kill your ass, I guess. No? I saw him shooting energy beams or balls in this, but uh, no, he's attacking Goku and Vegeta. Damn it! Yeah, Vegeta ain't happy about that. In his freaking base form, he was able to just like, okay, that didn't hurt. Where did that scum slink off to? Okay, so he's gone. There, Vegeta. What are you up to now? Well, he's summoning a giant ball. He's going to make a giant ball, Vegeta, and then just like, this is my spirit bomb. <laughs> uh, I call it the life bomb. Or lava bomb. Lava bomb sounds awesome, actually. Um, make that thing as big as you like. Your technique is useless against me now. Well, you're in base form, Vegeta. I wouldn't be saying that, Vegeta. Hey, Vegeta. Uh, oh, is it snowing? What? Something's wrong with the planet. What's happening? Oh, wait, that's energy. Oh, crap. No, cause... God damn it, the Dragon Ball. Um, hey, the Elder entrusted you with that Dragon Ball. Don't be so careless. Yeah, you dropped it. So sorry, but... Yep. Yeah. People are starting to faint. What's the matter? Uh, I just got dizzy. Yep, their very lives are being drained. Holy crap. Okay, he is kind of terrifying. <laughs> but what? Whatever this could be, is it affecting us too? Okay, the ball continues to get bigger. Shouldn't we just attack while he's charging up Vegeta? Yes, yes, Goku. You are the smart one in this situation. I mean, it's like every freaking shonen manga at this point where it's like, I'm going to show you my final form and it's going to kill you all. Or my final attack and it'll destroy this planet. Or what? Why would you give them time to charge up or transform? It looks cool. That's the point. But still, it, it's not strategic when you're trying to save people okay so he's finally got the ball it kind of looks condensed unless it's floating up oh he's eating it okay so he's regained I'm guessing a lot of power he freaking ate that like a biju bomb what he, he ate it <laughs> yep he's powering up Hmm. That first meal in a long time does the body good. Well, you don't look any different. I get it. That's how you go around absorbing energy. Okay, so the pilot... Oh, the pilot's still flying around. Oh. He's bringing the pilot back, I guess? Or he just brought him down. Calm your nerves, Cranberry. I... Did we know his name was Cranberry? <laughs> because I forgot. Wait. If his name was Cranberry, and a lot of Frieza soldiers, and he kind of looks like a Frieza soldier, to be honest. Could he have been a Frieza soldier previously? I doubt it, but maybe. Um, I shall not lose. Observe from there. Well, he you nearly killed the poor guy. Well, he's a criminal, but still. Uh, yes, <laughs> he looks all banged up in there. Does he seem way stronger than before? Of course. This is why uh, Maris uh, was eager to recapture you promptly. 
Why don't you hurry up and settle this then? Or we settle this then? Oh, oh, that smile. Um, tell me if you can, or try me if you can. You think your little boost is enough to surpass us? Super Saiyan Blue is still far beyond your scope. Yeah, you've used up all of your power, Vegeta. This is why you should have let Goku down. <clears throat> but I guess Goku is technically running on a full tank, theoretically speaking, so he at least we got a second go at it. Well, go on. <laughs> Goku's goading him on. It's ironic because there's a goat man, but you know. In the vicinity. Uh, probably can't beat him unless you go blue, right? Indeed. This is no time for games. Ah! And... Okay. We move back to the ship. Uh, I see. So the planetary... Okay. I forget your name. For some reason. I, I hate when I forget these characters' names. It's the patrol trooper that's always with them. Um, shit. Yeah, I'm just gonna hear it in the comments, but it's well deserved. I've just forgot. Um, I guess it's because I don't really care for him. <laughs> but it's our main dude, so you know who I'm talking about. Uh, I see. So the planetary energy that Moro absorbs includes the life force from the plants and animals of the given planet. Okay, easy enough to figure out. So he doesn't even have to attack Goku and Vegeta to weaken them. Have I got... Oh. Okay. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I didn't think about it that way, that he was draining them as well. Um, yes. This foe is capable of stealing away his opponent's energy while fighting. I don't know much about how those two go about their battles, but... They, ch they challenge Moro without knowing all the facts. And yet, on the long trip there, you thought not to tell them. <laughs> oh boy, I, I can't, I can't turn Super Saiyan. <clears throat> yep. R right, thought so. He's been absorbing our energy too. Well, Goku, if you knew that, why didn't you say that? Okay, so Moro is now dashing like the beast he is and grabbing Vegeta by the face and just going to slam him into a rock. Classic Dragon Ball fashion. Oh, no. He doesn't slam him in. It looked like it, but he's throwing him. Vegeta! Not really enough to kill him, but it's still always a fun move. I like when people just grab them by the faces. Heh <laughs> Well... You were already aware that my magic robs a planet of its life energy, weren't you? Naturally, that includes a healthy portion of your energy as well. Okay. Vegeta is a little shook in this moment. To borrow a phrase from you, I was hiding my true intent. Oh, and that little face. Okay. And Dragon Ball Super Chapter 45 ends. Okay, that was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, <clears throat> like I already stated numerous times, I don't know what that... I, I assume that was lava. But it could have just been pure energy or something. I don't know. I mean, it was coming out of the ground, so it could be lava or energy. Doesn't matter. But uh, the... Miris not giving that information to them beforehand. Very stupid. Um, Vegeta not trying to end the fight as quickly as possible might have been a bad idea, but whatever, you know, saying pride and all that, I guess. Um, and also not letting Goku kind of have a hand in there because he seemed to be grasping the concept that they were being drained that whole time, which why didn't he mention that? I don't know, but it still maybe would have swapped off and maybe they could have done a team up attack against him but we'll probably see that as this develops um also i guess vegeta just needed to confirm that he came for the dragon balls to wish for his i presume a pr 
presumably his youth, which would put him in his prime, because he doesn't seem to like develop energy from himself. He just absorbs from planetary sources. So, so I don't think that's a big issue with him. And I mean, he only took a portion of the planet, apparently. I'm guessing. Because, I mean, the Namics didn't seem like they were dropping dead. So, and obviously our heroes are still alive. So, there's still some energy left to be had in New Namek. But, hmm. Moro is kind of scary when, you know, it's like, I barely, I just have to keep my distance and keep draining you. And why didn't he do that? I'm surprised. Also, he didn't give a crap about that pilot, but who really does? Cranberry be cranberry, yo. Um, he should have left a long time ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, overall, it was an enjoyable chapter. Like I said, it had its issues. Um, how this plot will develop in the future for the arc. Who knows, I'm kind of seeing a King Piccolo, Frieza arc kind of union. Hopefully, if it does run along similar plot threads, that it's not totally the same. We get some new dynamics. That would be interesting. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the chapter. Um, anything I might have missed. And until next time, Keyslings, roll out. <laughs>